Hello, everyone. I have my helper. Helper. Are you gonna say hi. hi, Abigail. Abigail, do you want to be on? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna turn. It, I'm gonna turn it a little bit more. The dog is going to bark soon. I didn't think this through. So I just went with Alexander to Michaels to get a frame. <laughs> And Michaels, for those of you that don't know, or might not know, is kind of like the state's Hobby Lobby, right? We'll go with Hobby Lobby. Nobody's answering me. Shane Abigail doesn't know. Michaels is like Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Alexander said. Michaels is like Hobby Lobby. So they always have these grab bags. And, oh, I see Alexander is on here. Hello. <laughs> but they always have these grab bags for $5. And it's a substantial bag. And, uh... I never get them because we have enough stuff. I don't need a mystery bag of extra stuff that I for sure didn't go there for. But today was the day I couldn't handle it. And I thought, I bet other people want to know. I bet other people want to know. Are you re reading the comments? Yeah. Okay, so I thought I would do this with you guys. Hello, everybody. Oh, don't forget to like. That's right. Thank you so much. I, I feel like my guess was that it was going to be a lot of Valentine's stuff because since Valentine's is... But this is my first look. Wait, can you see in there? Oh, we you just, can't see. You just dumped it everywhere. Okay. So first up is a bunch of XOXO love Happy Valentine's Day shapes. So I figured it was going to be Valentine's stuff, but because I teach preschool, I thought, you know what? I could, uh, can you let the dog in there? Okay. <laughs> and wa wash his feet. Real life's happening here. <laughs> Hello to everyone coming in too. They said, hi, Abigail, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> so far we have some sticker letters next up we have some paper craft kit oh it makes little arrows <laughs> yeah this is good for next year somebody said i'm gonna go put it in my valentine's unit <laughs> there's something big in here a uh, large mailbox oh actually that will come in handy right now <laughs> hello everybody uh, we have a writing center in my class and whenever I have a mailbox and right now I have one made out of a cereal box with a hole cut in it and it looks exactly like that. <laughs> so they'll be very excited on that. Okay, so this one is a whole bunch of erasers. I think it's all going to be Valentine's theme. Baby, are you coming back? Valentine's mailbox kit. Well, they're going to really like that. Look at this. <laughs> and baby, you missed like the whole box or the whole bag. I'll show you really quick. There was this. Okay. And this erasers. Okay. Letters, straws, a mailbox. I don't know if they, usually they have the prices on here. I feel like this would have cost over $5 already though. And last one, another mailbox. It's a good thing wow. that I wanted so many mailboxes because awesome. I got them. What do you think? Oh, well, this alone says $5 US. What is that Canadian? $7. <laughs> but I paid $5 Canadian for everything. Are you going back and seeing what comments were? Yeah. Hello, Mother's Day project. Oh, I didn't even think of that, right? Because there's a whole bunch. Oh, mm, you are smart. We do have Mother's Day coming Super up chat. right away. Kat says, have each child make a sticker with their name to put it on it and choose a special sticker to decorate it. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. The only thing is, is that for the ones, oh, well, I guess if we use this box right away, then they, because they, this class only has four more months and then most of them are going off to kindergarten. That's the bad part about teaching preschool is that you gotta say goodbye to all of them at the very end. And thank you very much, Kat. It says you can transform it into Easter decor. You are right. I mean, we could have an Easter mailbox or just mailboxes. And I mean, for the erasers, I have a treasure chest that the kids get to pick out of when it's their birthdays. It's never a wrong occasion for a strawberry or cherries. And the mailboxes could be anything. <laughs> Look, there's dad. He's on here too. Hello to everyone. Did you see any? Yeah. There are some stickers that are reusable as well. Yep, that's very true. So we thought we would just pop on super quick, do a quick unboxing live. The kids are just getting off of school. Abigail was first out, right? Yep. 
and it looks kind of fuzzy. Is it fuzzy for you guys? Abigail is looking all grown up. It's fuzzy for on my computer. I hear, do you guys hear Alexander from upstairs? Hello at Curiosity Incorporated. Uh, David said, thumbs up everyone. I miss teaching. I know, you know what? Did this just start? It did. I thought this opening was gonna go a lot longer. It did not. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there was so much stuff. Uh, looks good. Hello, not fuzzy on my end. Not, I mean, mine is, but I think Alexander said upstairs. Uh, what are you working on in school right now? Well, right now, Alexander said, what are you working on in school right now? We are doing the five senses. Actually, five senses is a pretty interesting unit when you're teaching a bunch of kids because, uh, I mean, even period, it's pretty fun. Do you like learning about five senses? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we're doing smell and I take like an onion, a lemon, like there's gotta be good in some like ooh, smells and I put them in the bottom of a white cup and I cover the top and poke some holes in it and then they have to smell it. So I gotta think of something that's safer since they're gonna put it right against their face. So <laughs> oh, I'll think of something, but smell is a really fun one. And we just did a sound today and I put different things instead of those, you know, those little colorful Easter eggs and each egg has something different inside. So two of them have bells inside and then I really taped it shut because guess what preschoolers will do with those eggs? Yep, <laughs> everywhere. So uh, then they have to match the cells, the sounds, shells, I mean shells, bells with the bells. There was rice in one. And then I put, I think pennies in one. So are you reading? Yep. <laughs> a, a date care attendant. Aw, somebody's getting the delete. <laughs> oh, it's a preschool teacher. That's what they are here. Actually, think, people are called, um, uh, different things in depending on where you are because I had somebody say that they're called for their preschools They're not called preschool teachers. They're called nursery something. So here we don't call it nursery We call it preschool. You actually have a curriculum you have to follow and um, Things that they're supposed to learn get them prepared for kindergarten. So there's that <laughs> If you see anybody being rude, you can just uh, Click on the side. Hey Heather. How are you not a moderator? Hi auntie <laughs> So we, you can put Auntie Heather on there. Hi. She'll get them. Hi. Here, I'm gonna just make Heather a moderator. I hope okay. you want to be a moderator, because okay. you're one now. <laughs> Alexander missed it. That's all right. Uh, you know what? But in the beginning too, you do kind of feel like that. I think that goes with a lot of people. On Stephen's feed last night, people were saying that uh, they do art, but they feel really guilty calling themselves artists. And I think that goes for a lot of us. Even when I was first a parent, you almost feel like a fraud when you first call yourself mom because you're not used to calling. I mean, if you're a dad, then of course you don't call yourself mom. <laughs> but I think eventually you just kind of move into your title. So when I first became a teacher, I did feel like, ooh, I can't call myself a teacher. I'm teaching preschool. And then of course you learn very fast that you are teaching. <laughs> <laughs> but I also work for an elementary, so I had uh, I had an idea. Oh, good. She said it's all good. Doesn't do you need a wrench? I didn't a even moderator. make Alexander a moderator. That's that's the kind. Can you? I don't think you can. That would be like I don't think you can. You can just delete it from your own feed. You guys, that's like watching uh, <laughs> much very much like that. Uh, should give Alexander a blue wrench. Hey, sweetheart, can you put up some hearts so I can give you a wrench? Oh. And you get a wrench, and you get a wrench. Here, I got it. Okay, he's working on it. He's probably not by the computer. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, my kids didn't go to preschool, but I was also running a, a kind of like a, a play group. <laughs> oh, I said hearts. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, add moderator. Yeah. There you go. I almost hid you from the channel. That wouldn't have been good. But ate paste. You know what? I have a funny story about that. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of kids eat paste. <laughs> so the worst thing I ever did, I put glue, like the white glue, into cups. What was I thinking? And I gave them Q-tips because I thought, mm, this will be so much better than them squeezing it out because they have to learn. I mean, muscle control, not squeezing out the whole bottle. And now uh, Mrs. A 
put it in cups. So it looked just like milk. I only did it once. One kid put, had it on their lips and I mean, it's non-toxic, but at the same time, you don't want to encourage kids to drink paste. <laughs> yeah, I'll be keeping you in line, Mr. Archbold. That's what Heather said. Are you the only one without a Greek name? That's okay. We'll give her we'll give her a Greek nickname. I know mine means honeybee, Melissa. <laughs> so that works out. I I'm hoping that everybody here is doing well. What did they say? Ray's peeling eggs and she broke the shell up in a lot. She was quicker peeling them up. It's true. It does work better. She still races me. So somebody said that uh, they wanted to thank Abigail for she takes the egg when it's hard boiled and she cracks the whole egg up and then she peels the, I can't even see you baby. <laughs> she cracks the whole thing up and then peels it off. So why are you fixing your hair? You're supposed to do that before this. That's the thing. You can see it very much once you're on camera and Steven brought us up a light. So <laughs> yeah. where's Chewy? Oh, you can hear him. I, I, if you guys have seen my last video, we figured that Chewy is either jealous that I'm not giving him the attention or he's questioning my sanity. I mean, either one is valid, <laughs> but I see everyone. Hello, Alexander. Somebody said, where's Chewy? I know, I saw, that's why I said. There you are. Chewy came. He must have known that you were calling. Do you want to grab him? I'll try. Let's see. <laughs> he, he actually ran. What's he coming? Do you want to uh, no. use plastic lids for your containers so you can wipe them down? Yeah, that's actually smart. <laughs> oh, that's actually really smart. <laughs> You just saved me and I have a million lids. <laughs> right, actually, that's true. And I only have 10 kids in my uh, group A, so 10 lids, I can handle that. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, no, I give up. You gave up? What are you doing right now in school, baby? School. To school? That's it? Is it fun? Nope. <laughs> We're considering putting the kids, uh, if depending on how things are going here, Thank you so much, James. We have uh, anytime, so my, uh, I saw, I said, thank you, James. <laughs> but uh, my brother's name is James. So every time I see a James pop up, I think, is that, is that my James? <laughs> hey James, do you ever get called Jamesy boy? Because my James does, <laughs> Jamesy boy. And same with Ben. Actually, no, Ben, my other brother, we call him Bean. Bean! Yeah, that's how it rolls in my house. Abigail's baby. Jason's Jub. Steven's Stuvie. <laughs> what do I call you, Alexander? It's true. Oh, yeah, I call him, I call him Checkers. Because you guys know, he wears a lot of plaid. Checkers and Archbold. Uh, Julia said, I call my son Jamesy Pooh. That's close. <laughs> Jim's a boy. I'm so used to looking at the comments on my computer that I'm still doing that. I can't read it on the phone. I'm taking it from me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Jamesy Poo. Hello from California. I bet you guys are all having super warm day today. I hope all of you are. We have a pretty decent day. I got to drive around my vehicle and try to figure it out. I mean, I made it there and back. I can't figure out the backup camera. I'm not used to it. So I thought, hmm, parked like a pro. And then I was so far away from like where I needed to be. So I just got to get used to that. I mean, I didn't hit anything. So that's a plus. Hey, Lori, I missed your live in the end. Yeah, that's what Alexander said. Never late for dinner for what he's called. <laughs> Sarah Louise is Lulu. My sister's name is Sarah. Zacharuni. Zach gets Zacharuni and Josh is bish, bishis or, oh, boshness. My cousin James was called Jimmer. Oh, I feel like I could incorporate Jimmer. I think James is also called, I don't think they call him Jim. I can't remember what they call James at work. I can't think of what 60s is. Mom's called me Bunky. I'm 43 now. My dad used to call me Lissy. I mean, that's close to uh, Melissa, kind of. <laughs> Lissy. And then they called me Mel. Boy, that makes more sense. I mean, uh, both grandma and grandpa taught grade eight states, different sides of the family. Do you know if Bob the Bottle Man still has a YouTube? Can't find him. 
Bob does have a YouTube. I saw him start it back up, right? Uh, I don't know. Part of <laughs> I don't know what he's under right now. I know it's, uh, I absolutely have no clue. <laughs> so helpful and I know for sure he still has an Instagram because I just saw him post stuff on Instagram yesterday everyone seems to have a live yesterday I know we well we had we did our live earlier on Curiosity Inc because Stephen had a live to show part two for the parrot painting and spoiler he ended up painting over that rose because he preferred having that white space so I went to bed with the parrot with the rose and when I came home from work he painted over it, so either way it looks good, but I liked the rose. Just, I gotta hide my paintings apparently once I leave my, who would have thought? <laughs> and when did he have time for that? Stephen, I'm telling on you. I'm telling all the people to paint over my rose. All over my rose. What? It looks fine. I know. Yeah, just post that you'll have, you have some cool bottles for sale and Bob will find you. My name's Christine, but only my siblings call me Chris. Yeah, well, that's like Alexander. Uh, that's just like Alexander. I call him Alexander and his mom calls him Alexander, but that's it. <laughs> I think very few people call Alexander, Alexander. Heather, do you call Alexander, Alexander? <laughs> no, I can't. No, I call him a pain in the butt. <laughs> I mean, there's that. Steven's voice is deep. Oh, sure, Heather. I guess you guys can read for yourselves. I don't need to like <laughs> read it like a story. Once upon a time, that Yarny Zebra said LOL at John Brewer. <laughs> you should be Bob the Bottle Man. So I'm not gonna actually have uh, do this for my, much longer. I just wanted to pop in and I was very curious what was in the bag and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the adventure. I have to go figure out supper since I didn't thaw anything out and right now it's brick of meat so that's tasty <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna want uh, brick of meat yep hi from sunny Australia that you know that's one place that seems to be sunny a lot is Australia am I wrong I have no clue because I'm in Alberta Canada <laughs> in my own little land you're both my favorite channel Aw, thanks, Jeffro. <laughs> Hi from Texas. I bet Texas is usually warm as well. <laughs> On that note, now I'm just going off reading comments because that's normally what I do. What, what's your sign-off going to be, Abigail, to say goodbye? Why? Oh, what was that? <laughs> that's my sign-off. <laughs> Are you going to say bye for now? No? You can't say bye for now. You know what I always say? I say... Actually, I don't know what I say. Catch you later, Gator. Catch you later, Gator. Okay, that can be yours. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming on this short uh, live. I'm glad I got to catch up with some of you. At least you got to see what you would be getting if you spent $5 at Michael's. I don't know if all of them are the same. I feel like they're all going to be Valentine's themed, themed though. I hate to spoil it for you if you do have a Michael's. <laughs> Hopefully you get some other stuff if you do check it out. And I guess we will see you guys. I have a video that I'm editing from this weekend that should be out today since I dropped the ball and it didn't happen yesterday. So you get to see me twice. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful night. And thank you, baby, for helping me. Uh, yeah, I helped all right. <laughs> you helped. You helped. <laughs> have a great day, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. What? I thought you'd say I mean, later. Catch you later, Gabe. <laughs>